In our last video, we talked about societies that accept the belief in pre-existing law. These would be societies that believe that even the king is subject to the law, and there are certain rights and liberties that we inherently possess that even the king is not able to trample upon. As Americans, we need to look no further than our Declaration of Independence to ascertain whether or not our founding fathers embraced that there was such a thing as pre-existing law. They told us in the very first paragraph that they were establishing our nation, acquiring from among the powers of the earth that separate but equal station to which the laws of nature and nature's God entitle us. The laws of nature and nature's God is clearly a form of pre-existing law, but we'll talk about that in another video. In the second paragraph, they boldly declare to the world that we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal and endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men. So clearly they believe not only in the existence of unalienable rights, rights that no government grants to us, and therefore rights that no government can take away from us, but that these were so evident that they should be self-evident to all men everywhere. And that there's a whole list of these because they only give us a few examples. And they say, among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So what is the role and function of government? They tell us clearly to secure these rights. These rights meaning unalienable rights. Those rights that mankind inherently possess that are given to us not by the government. And our founders were very bold to say that these are rights that are given to us by our creator. It has nothing to do with whether or not an individual has a relationship with that creator as their redeemer, but solely that all men as a created being have certain rights that they inherently possess that cannot be taken from them. And the role and the function of government is to make sure those rights are protected never stripped away, never stolen by another individual, and in fact, never stolen by the government. So now the question is, if we are a society that embraces pre-existing law, then does that make us a Lex Rex or a Rex Lex society? Does that make us a society that believes we're an empire of men or an empire of laws?